Hi, it's Richard at Production Room again. Uh, following on from our last video when we set up some VST instruments uh, to record, we're going to do some very, very simple um, MIDI recording and very, very simple MIDI editing also. So I'm going to start off with the drum kit um, that we loaded on there. And uh, right here on the transport panel, if you want to change your tempo, uh, just click the tempo button, make sure it said fixed there. Uh, that means that the um, tempo you select will be across the whole song. Uh, so I've set mine at uh, 95, which is just about right uh, for the track. Now, uh, above that, we have the time signature, which is set at 4-4, but you can put it at 5 4 3, 4, 6, 8, whatever uh, in there. So, uh, click is on, and I've got pre-roll selected there, so it'll give me four clicks and in. I think it defaults to two bars, but uh, I only need one bar. So let's go. Okay, that's my drum kit down, a little bit sloppy, so I'm going to quantize that. Now here in the quantize preset panel, uh, we have different resolutions. Now I didn't play anything quicker than a semi quaver there, or as the Americans call it, a sixteenth notes. So if I set it to sixteenths here, I make sure that I've got my um, a MIDI block there selected, and if I hit Q on my keyboard, bam, that should bang it into time. So let me just hear that back quickly. Sounds better. Okay, I'm going to put my bass part on next, I think. Channel one. There we go. Right, four clicks and in. Play along with my um, uh, drum part. Here we go. Okay, that's my bass guitar part. Well, I absolutely cunningly played some wrong notes deliberately there, of course. So what we'll do is we'll double click on our part there. That brings the editor up. So those are all the notes we played. And down here are the velocities that we played them at. But uh, just make that a bit bigger so you can see. Yeah. Right. So clearly there, that's a wrong note because I've got two at once there. So let's hear that back. So that note does not want to be there. So I'm just going to select it and delete it. There's another tiny one there. Delete that too. And there's a double one there as well. That does not want to be there. So I think that's now perfect. By the way, if I want to make uh, notes shorter or longer, then again, I can just grab them and move them like that. And it will snap to the grid there. That's the snapping to grid and you can select, select the resolution of that grid to bars or events or what have you. Okay, so I'll come out of that for a minute and I'll put the roads part on. Here we go. Let's quantize that too. Just check for wrong notes. I think there might be a cheeky one in there. Yep, that one doesn't want to be there. That's now perfect. And finally, we'll put our um, piano parts on. Two, three, and. Size that. Let's have a little look at that MIDI part. That note doesn't want to be there. That note doesn't want to be there. Yeah, I think that's about right. Now that was a four bar loop, but it's recorded slightly past that because I'm a human being. Uh, so what we can do is we can make that exactly four bars by either uh, just grabbing the end of each part and because it's snapped to bar lines, it will just take it naturally back to the beginning of bar five. Or if we right click, then we get a little toolbar here. So I can select the scissors there and cut it and then select them and delete them. So that's now a nice, perfect uh, four bar loop there. 
In fact, here's your left and right locators as well uh, that you can select. If you're on a, a, a PC, you can select with your left and right mouse buttons and you can drag them across and that will just loop that selection there. So if I set that selection to loop on the transport bar there and then hit play. <laughs> Now, copying and pasting is the next uh, um, popular choice of things to do when you've got a load of uh, MIDI. So if I want to copy that, instead of looping it, I can select it all. Now, if you hit, if you just move it, click and drag, it will move the uh, MIDI parts. So if I want to copy it, then I hold down the Alt key and then drag, and that will actually copy the data over, uh, which is nice and easy. And I've got a glue tool here, so I can glue those different parts together to make one part. Conversely, I've got the um, scissors, so I can start splitting the parts up and moving bars around if I choose. And I also have uh, lots of other things, but mute is quite nice, so I can take different parts out different places and build a track up like that, which is quite nice. And uh, click it again for unmute. And that is very, very basically how to uh, record some MIDI. Obviously, there's much more in it than that. But if you just want to get going uh, quickly, uh, that should give you uh, a decent starting point.